Hello, Rob, K2RWF. I had a couple questions on um, how I'm doing my satellite setup. Uh, portable, and um, I thought I'd give an overview of the software side of things. I put a brief video up that kind of showed the hardware setup, uh, but under pretty poor conditions with a lot of wind noise in the background. Anyway, um, we're using SatPC32 here to do the satellite tracking. Mine's not registered yet. Um, I've been waiting two weeks for AMSAT to send me the registration, but keep in mind it's owned by, uh, um, it's manned by one person and it's summertime. So they very well could be on vacation. So there's no major rush. It still works. You just have to put in uh, the Latin long every time you start the program. So no big headache. It, uh, it works fully functionally minus that limitation. Once you register it, you can uh, save um, location memories and go for it. One thing that makes this happen um, is the ability for SAP PC32 to um, handle uh, cat control for two radios at the same time. Um, that's what really makes this work. Uh, the transmit radio is an IC7100, so an ICOM, um, standard CAT uh, setup, and um, we set that to radio 2 here. Radio 2 is your transmit. On radio 1, we set uh, these settings here, and I'll explain uh, why we use these settings in a second. Uh, but this is what we do. We uh, Kenwood uh, TS2000 model, uh, follow those CAT commands. <clears throat> We're using COM port 98, which is a virtual COM port. More to come on that in a second. Um, and a CAT delay of 70 with uh, your RTS line enabled. Um, if you're using a different type of radio down here, you know, you can pretty much get anything uh, to work. Um, but uh, I would double check first and I wouldn't purchase the software until you make sure you can get your transmit radio to work appropriately here. Um, so that's the CAT setup here. I'm not going to go into detail on how SAP PC32 works in depth. That's something that's pretty straightforward. If you read the manual, you can figure things out pretty quickly. I just wanted to demonstrate how I'm doing full duplex with an RTL SDR dongle. So the real thing that makes this whole piece of uh, fun work is K5FR's VSP Manager, which is freeware for amateurs, um, and is really, it, it's great. It creates a virtual uh, serial ports that uh, you can use internally in the computer to send uh, serial commands from one piece of software to another, and that's just what we needed to do here. You can't just go on K5FR's website and download it like you can a lot of his other pieces of software like DD Utility. Um, but uh, what he does do is you send him an email, um, you know, showing him that you're an amateur and he'll send you a link on how to download the software. Imagine it's something that's pretty in demand and there are commercial versions out there that will do this, but they cost quite a bit of money. And I'm assuming he doesn't want people to abuse the fact that he's uh, putting this out there for freeware, so it's limited to amateurs only. So there's that. We created virtual serial ports 98 and 99. Um, and that's why SAT PC32 is set up for COM 98. And then we use COM 99 in the uh, SDR software that we're using for the downlink. So that's where this comes into play. I like SDR console. This is version 2. Um, you can also get this to work well with HD SDR. I won't go into the details of the setup on that. It's pretty similar. Um, you're going to use the same settings as you would to set up SDR console. Um, and it's easily found in HDSDR's menu um, and, uh, and help guide on how to get that uh, set up cat commands. So here uh, we use, uh, well, I mean, first off, I'm not going to go into the details of how you get an RTL SDR working with SDR console version 2. Again, plenty of documentation on the internet, very straightforward to set up. Um, so for uh, getting this to talk to uh, SAT PC32, uh, the CAT side here, uh, we're under Tools, Program Options. And this one always throws me off here. It always takes me a second to... Uh, to fight. I always want to click that, and it's not it. I think it's under... Nope. Boy, it shows you how much I know. Sorry, Jesus, wow, serial ports. Who would have thunk? 
We select COM 99 down here. Um, we just set the speed to 57, uh, 6, which you can set, by the way, in SAT PC 32 I forgot how to show you that, but it's in the settings. I'll show you that in a second. And, um, you know, when that's running, uh, anytime there's cat commands being sent from SAT PC 32 this is going to track. Um, so if we hop back over, whoops, sorry, if we hop back over to SAT PC 32 you'll see that that's where my downlink is currently sitting. And uh, just trust me when I tell you that the 7100 on the uplink is tracking uh, just the same. This is uh, accounting for Doppler uh, error and that's exactly what it reads on my VFO right now on the 7100. I'll go back in and show you this really quick since I said I would. Um, to change a, a baud rate, you would uh, do this, and to change uh, addresses, which is important for the ICOM uh, radios because uh, your CIV address isn't going to be the same on every radio. So that's something you need to consult your manual for. Uh, your CIV setting is um, in the radio, and you just make sure that this is here. So mine's 88H, so we typed 88 in here. But again, that's address, which you only need to be concerned about with an ICOM, setting the baud rate. And you can see they're actually differing. Look at that. I'm pretty sure I have it set at 57.2K. Um, but it still works fine. So I'm not going to fix anything that ain't broken. And uh, I, I actually use the 7000 setting. It's the same cat commands. You just have to change the CIB address uh, for the 7100. So that's why that works the way it does, even though it says 7000 there. You know what? I had to add an addendum. I completely forgot to tell you guys. Um, which it would become obvious when you're doing it, um, that uh, when, when you change between satellites and say you're on SO50 using FM modulation and you go to AO, I'm sorry, FO29 where you're going to be using sideband, uh, which would be lower sideband for the uplink and upper sideband for the downlink, um, those CAT commands translate to both the transmit radio and to, um, to SDR console here. So uh, you can see right now that it's tracking a sideband satellite. Um, it'll flop over to FM if I switch to FO50 or it automatically switches for me. Um, and it also sends tone controls as well, um, which is of course important on some of the FM satellites. Well, only one of them now. SO50 requires a uh, different uh, PL to activate the timer in the event that uh, the satellite hasn't been active in some time and then a different PL to uh, access the machine as a, a repeater. Um, AO85 requires a PL as well to access it, and that's all automatically set for you um, by SAT PC32. So just another neat feature. Any questions, feel free to get in touch with me via email, and I'll be happy to help you. Uh, K2RWF here, 73.